Sleeping, taking a nap. It's starting to get cold and it was raining today, so and Layla just got over a cold. So uh, we're debating to take her out or not. But like, this is her first Halloween that she can actually enjoy and like trick or treat. So we kind of sucks that like, we want to do something. So when they wake up, we'll probably just go to the mall and hang out and get some candy there and uh, just walk around for a bit, get out of the house. I'm off tonight. I don't go to work till tomorrow at 9 so that way I can get to hang out with them for a bit. So, my battery's running low. Uh, I don't know why she's not charging. So, I'm gonna make this quick. So, lately I've been on Instagram a lot and I've been seeing all this bullshit. I'm not even gonna give them credit, but it's a couple accounts that just sit there and just talk shit all day. I wouldn't say talk shit, I would say more of make fun because. I am pretty damn sure that those people are also overlanders, campers, whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. So, I don't know. I find it pretty funny. I find it pretty, pretty funny how people just talk shit. But yeah, it's something that they do too or something that brought them together in this community. Like, I've met some of dope ass people in this community. And... I'm not here to defend it, I'm not here to tell you what is right and what's wrong, but I will say that because of this community, because of the overlanding community, I've met a lot of genuine people. I've met a lot of long-term, like, homies, and it just amazes me how, like, people, they get all into it, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, they start going balls, like, deep into it, and then more people get into it, just like they did. And then like, all right, it's over. Like, I'm done with it. It's getting, it's getting fucking, uh, it's getting lame now and everybody's doing this and that. Like, bitch, it's been like that for a while. Like, I've been telling you motherfuckers, like, all your fucking trucks look the same. Like, of course you're gonna get tired of it. And you know what, people wanna join? Fuck it, whatever, let them join. Like, you joined, you started doing it, so why can't they? So, I don't know. There's been a lot of bullshit going on. I feel like I'm not saying what's right or I'm protecting Overland Bound or I'm protecting any of these people, but you know what? Overland Bound's been legit since day one. Like, they've been cool as shit. I've met some fucking awesome ass people. And, you know, like, yeah, he's making money off of it. But at the same time, it's like, who doesn't have an idea and want to make money from it? So, now you're just being a fucking hater. So, whatever, dude. So whoever's out there talking shit, saying that overlanding is stupid and all that, and the funny thing is that most of these accounts, if you go back in their pictures, and even though they deleted their overland pride days, they're still fucking overlanding. They're camping, whatever the fuck they're doing, and they've met a gang of people because of it. So why talk shit? I don't know, that's how I feel. It's been bugging me lately. And I'll talk to people at work about it. And obviously they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but... I don't know, I think it's stupid. Like, if you don't... If you don't like it no more, then fuck it. Just don't do it no more. Just don't fucking bash it. Don't fucking sit there and say that it's fucking lame or retarded if people do it. You know what? Fuck you. You did it too. So, how's that fucking lame? You're fucking lame. So... Yeah. So right now I'm on my way to the post office. Uh... My really good friend, I've known him for about 10, 10, 9 years. He's a photographer now, or he's been a photographer for a while, and he uh, took this badass picture of Dodger Stadium from a drone. So I told him, I was like, hey, you should make prints or something. And I think he was already gonna do it or whatever, but he did it. And uh, you guys haven't really seen my apartment that much, but it's very bland, like, 
we moved in and wanted to get the fuck out of the man we moved in. So now we don't have that many decorations. We don't have nothing on the wall. So tomorrow when I'm at work, I'm gonna get a stud finder because I'm on my way to the post office to pick up a print, a nice framed print of Dodger Stadium. So, you know, I like to support, especially my friends, like when they do something, when, like, or when they're into something, I like to support them. Right now I'm away, I don't wanna make a long video of just me talking. So I'm gonna pick up the print, drive back home, I'll show you guys the print, and then hopefully this is awake and I'll show you guys your costume. So yeah, I didn't mean to start off this video negative and with a bad vibe, but you know, you're entitled to talk shit, whatever, cool. Like you're gonna talk shit, you're gonna talk shit. Everybody has the right to talk shit. I talk shit a lot. It just bugs me when you're talking shit about a whole community that you used to be a part of. And, you know, like I said, I'm no one to defend it. I'm nobody on Instagram, I'm nobody on YouTube. Yeah. But, <coughs> you know, like, you got into it. You made some badass friends because of it. So why talk shit? Like, why not just be like, okay, cool, like, this isn't for me anymore, thanks guys, it was fun, I'm out. That's it, this one. They opened their doors to everybody, they were like, I don't give a fuck what you drive, come on in, hang out with us, come camping, and you know what, that's what's badass about this, that's what's fucking dope, it's like, you know, you don't need the fucking sickest, ultimate, fucking overlanding rig to go out with these fools. All you need is a capable rig, if you like it, you like it, and that's it. And then go out and have fun. And that, to me, that's legit. To me, that's dope. So, so yeah, I'm almost there. Uh, I'm gonna cut this right now. I'll show you guys the video. Uh, so the way so you can see your outfit. And then I'll probably film at the mall just to get a video up. I haven't posted this since the last Q and A. So. A little bit more productive on my days off and like start uploading because it's just a constant thing now. We're like, oh, like, when's the next one? Or, and I don't mind, like, I love doing this. It's just hard to work, come home. I want some time with my girls because every time I see Layla, I feel like she changes. And then upload a video that would also be relevant to the point where I'm talking about something that you guys want to hear. So since the whole variety thing has been going on, I just want to talk about that because I know it's going to get worse from here. Like, I, like I know it's not going to stop. It's an, I have a thing. I was talking to my boy Rick uh, from Top Adventures, and we were saying how like, you know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe that way the fuck boys will leave and you get some real motherfuckers that you actually do want to meet. And that's fine with me. I don't give a fuck. Like. All right, guys. So I just picked it up. Uh, I thought it was going to be framed. But I guess I ordered the one not frame, so it's cool. I'll just buy a frame and hang it up. So, yeah, right now I'm on the way home. I'm gonna pick up some food and then I'm gonna go home. Hopefully the girls are awake. I doubt it. They probably won't wake up till like seven. So, yeah. So yeah, like I'm not talking shit about anybody yet. I'm not sitting here and saying they shouldn't do what they're doing. Like, you know, I don't give a fuck. They can do what the fuck they want. I'm just saying, it's kind of hilarious how people are so quick to bash on something that they love only because they see other people loving it. Which to me, that's never made sense. Because. Like, I know it's trendy now, and people are be like, oh, is overlanding getting too hyped up? And it's like, if you like it, who cares? Like, if you enjoy doing it, who the fuck cares? Like, everything is trendy. Everything is hyped up somewhere. Like, you really think you're the only person doing something? Like, even if it's something, like, different, like, I don't know, like, you enjoy pickling. You really think you're the only person out there fucking pickling? No. So... Fucking enjoy it. Shut the fuck up. So yeah, that's my thing. Like I'm not here. You know I don't care. Think what, think what you want. Say what you want. Comment what you want. Comment how you feel. Tell me how you feel below. 
because that's the way I feel. I just feel like, you know, just enjoy what you do. Stop fucking hating. If anything, hate yourself for, like, having the same fucking mods as 20 other people in your group. Hate yourself for, like, no, don't talk shit about, oh, you're making him rich. Bitch, do you know how much you're paying for a fucking roto pack? You know what the fuck a roto pack is? Like, you know how much you're paying for that amount? And you're talking shit about making someone rich? Like, come on. Don't be stupid. Like, you're over there dropping gang money on fucking dealership service, on all this shit. And I'm not gonna say where, but we all know where. You know how much they're fucking charging you? Man the fuck up. Do your own shit. Like, yeah, okay, we all need help. Totally agree with that. I've been to the shop plenty of times. You know, I'm not knocking on that. But for fucking maintenance, for fucking just regular service, come on. Like, really? And you're talking about making someone rich. You're a fucking idiot. But whatever. I hope this shit becomes a meme. I don't give a fuck. I love exposure, so. Get my. Get this side. So, yeah. Time to go eat. <laughs>